Hello, hello, and welcome back to Pokémon Crystal Version! In the previous episode, we journeyed through Union Cave and made it here, to Azalea Town. And we passed by this mysterious person who looks an awful lot like a Team Rocket member from Gen 1. Hmm, how about that? It would seem that just maybe there are some troubles afoot. Yes, there's a doin's a transpirin, and if you don't want to miss that doin's, then I highly suggest you consider subscribing to the channel. But for now, all we can really do is talk to everyone we see, so what do you say? Cut through Azalea, and you'll be in Elex Forest. Ilex Forest? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but these skinny trees make it impossible to get through. The Charcoal Man's Pokémon can cut down trees. Ooh, what a handy ability that will be to have. And, uh, and how about you? What do you say? Uh, did you come to get Kurt to make some balls? Sure. Uh, a lot of people do just that. Do they now? How interesting. And, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, excuse me, sir, sir, uh, sir, you're, you're in the way. Uh, sir, I, I'd like to challenge the gym if I could. Do you know about Slowpoke Tales? Again with the Slowpoke Tales, that seems to be all anybody talks about. I heard it's tasty. Uh, aren't you glad I told you that? No, no, not, not really. Hmm, so there seems to be some weird Slowpoke Tail black market. Uh, this is the Charcoal Kiln? Okay. All the Slowpoke have disappeared from the town. Uh, the Forest's Protector may be angry with us. It may be a bad omen. We should stay in. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe you should. Uh, how about you? Where have all the Slowpoke gone? Are they out playing somewhere? Ooh, uh, no, I, I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's what's happening. Oh, it's a Farfetch'd. Hello, Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd is a, another flying-type Pokémon. Uh, how about you? What do you have to say? The Slowpoke have disappeared from town. Yeah, that seems to be big news. I heard their tails are being sold somewhere. Uh, yeah, we, we passed a guy, actually, on our way in who was trying to sell us one for a ridiculous amount of money. So, in order to continue, uh, this is the building we need to venture into. And uh, we can look at this fruit-bearing tree. It's a white apricorn. Apricorn? A lot of these words today. Uh, I obtained it. Uh, apricorns are interesting fruit? Nuts? I don't know what they are. Uh, but we'll, we'll learn more about them later. The Slowpoke are gone. Were they taken away by bad people? Yeah, I think that uh, does seem to be the case. Hmm, who are you? Chris, eh? You want me to make some balls? Oh, so this must be, uh, what was his name? Kurt, that the person was talking about. Ah, oh, sorry, but that'll have to wait. And do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokémon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, uh, cutting off Slowpoke Tails for sale. Ooh, what an abominable action. So I'm going to go give them a lesson in pain. <laughs> oh, you go. Oh, hang on, Slowpoke. Oh, Kurt is on his way. And like a maniac, he runs off. Well, good luck, friend. Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. Oh dear. Well, you, uh, you hold down the fort here. Uh, yeah, seeing as how he ran off with Wild Abandon, I'm sure he'll need help. Uh, but while we're passing by the Pokémart, there's something kinda cool that you can buy here. Charcoal! It powers up Fire-type attacks for a Pokémon that holds it. Extremely expensive! Uh, but I thought it was worth noting that it's in there. Now then, to the well, uh, which is open now. Well, well. Uh, oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey there, Chris. 
uh, the guard up top took off when I shouted at him, but then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Aw, oh, rats, if I were fit, my Pokémon would have punished them. Oh, I can't be helped. Uh, Chris, show them how gutsy you are in my place. How did I know that I would be the one cleaning all this up? Uh, hey, buddy. Ah, oh, darn, I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. Everybody's just fallen down the well. They should really put, like, a railing around it or something. Ah, uh, I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you! Well, there are probably healthier ways to do that, but, you know, whatever works. You got two Pokémon, Rocket Grunt, and it is a Rattata. Level 9! Ah, uh, they're, uh, oh, hey, hey, Ghastly, um... Yeah, this is not your fight, I'm afraid. Who can fight this Rattata? Uh... Maybe Spearow? I wouldn't mind seeing Spearow... Uh, grow up to level 13 like the others. Actually, I would really like to see Cyndaquil grow up a bit higher. I think it's close to evolving. Maybe not this episode, of course, but it's certainly getting there. Oh, Spiro, your defense is, uh, is not looking good. Luckily, this Rattata will not be able to lay a fang on you. Get a little bit of experience anyway. Now you have another Rattata. Well, this then is a perfect time to use Cyndaquil. Because Spiro is not gonna take even one hit. Well, it probably will, but not very well anyway. So let's uh let's turn up the heat. Yeah, quick attack. That's what worried me. I know that Rattata gets quick attack. Uh see, that is an attack, as you may have guessed that always strikes first. And Rattata, being a normal-type Pokémon, can use it just a little bit better than others. Oh, there we go, 100 experience. Not bad, not bad. Oh, this is not my day! Yeah, it's, uh... It's one of those days, huh? One of those days. And here we've got another, uh, rocket and an item, too. And yeah, you- you were ready for me, just springing into action. Stop taking tails? Yeah, just try to defeat all of us! Ah, they do have the strength in numbers, don't they? So this is the female Rocket Grunt Sprite, and uh, as a bit of a uh, aside here, when I was younger, I thought that she had four arms. Or that this sprite indicated, like, movement or something, and, and her arms were moving. But no, those are definitely, uh, definitely ponytails. It's funnier if she has four arms, though. Maybe it looks more like that on the tiny Game Boy Color screen. Oh, I still have... You know what? This is fine, actually. Let's, uh, let's use Ghastly. Let's not worry about it too much, because I don't think Zubat can do anything to Ghastly. This will do one damage, yeah. Uh, we might be here a while. But I am confident in Ghastly's ability to use Lick many times. Ah, uh, even though you're using Leech Life and ruining a tiny, tiny bit of my hard work. Uh, the Paralysis will help, though. Yeah, there we go. Uh, in case you didn't know, Paralysis reduces your speed, and I think 25% of the time it stops you from doing anything. I don't think it's 50%. 25 seems about right. Especially in this fight, anyway. But, uh, no, that is, that is definitely two more uses of Lick. Oh, Ghastly, I wish you had better attacks. Oh, well. Fully paralyzed. We got there eventually. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go, there we go. And you also have an Ekans. Ooh, okay. Who do I use against Ekans? Fan P would be super effective. 
No, let, let's get Cyndaquil up to level 14. Let's, uh... Yeah, oh my goodness, this Ekans is at level 11. Uh, I mean, it'll certainly pay out in experience, I'm sure. Let's see what Ember does. Ah, uh, that's not a lot. Okay, wrap. Well, luckily, they fixed these annoying wrap effects in Gen 2. Uh, in Gen 1, they just did all of their usage all at once. Uh, because it carries on over several turns. Now it does actually let you act in between, even if you are wrapped up. Uh, they were very, very annoying attacks in Gen 1, let me tell you. Aw, oh, the poison, really? Really? See, if I was wrapped and poisoned in Gen 1, guess what? I would not have a chance to do anything. I would be damaged by wrap, damaged by poison, damaged by wrap, damaged by poison, until wrap ran out of its usage. Ridiculous. A good combo in Gen 1, but ridiculous. Oh, that's not bad. One more battle and we'll, uh, we'll get there. You rotten brat! Uh, spoken like a true rocket, huh? Uh, what a- oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, uh, poison. I have antidotes. Oh, I have a lot of antidotes. Uh, here you go, uh, Cyndaquil. Maybe, uh, yeah, get- get well soon. Thanks. And because Cyndaquil is so close to a level up, let's just move you up front. Or... Lady Ba. Nah, no, no, no. Stick with Cyndaquil for now. Oh, a super potion. That's nice. They're, uh, just better potions, of course. And, uh, yeah, we, we got rockets. Quit taking slowpoke tails. If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. It's rep, you say. I'm pretty sure everybody thought you, uh, like, broke up. You all just ran away and quit. Well, whatever. Whatever makes you happy. Actually, I, uh, I shouldn't say that. If cutting off Slowpoke Tails makes you happy, then uh, I do advise you to find better hobbies. Oh, well, that's not, it's not bad damage right there. Tail Whip, alright. Uh, ah, there's the quick attack. Darn it! You thought that through. You did the smart thing, and I don't like it when you do the smart thing. Uh, 85. Well, it got me to level 14, and that's what matters. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, defense is lagging behind a little bit, but... Still, those numbers are all pretty even. About to use a Zubat. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This'll be fun, Ladybug. So, you have a Zubat. It is at level 9. I have a Ladybug who is at level 11. Who can be more annoying? Uh, ooh, well... I missed. I don't know when Zubat learns Supersonic. I know it does. Zubat is infamous for using Supersonic. Uh, yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Okay. Buckle up, folks. This is a Supersonic off. Ooh, you're using Leech Life. I'm taking these free hits. But it's fine. It's just fine. One of these is bound to hit you. Really? Three in a row? And yours did hit me. I'm not happy about this. Now, this is not ideal. Uh, Ladybug, please. You know what, Ladybug? You know, you do disappoint me sometimes. I'm still getting zapped by leech life. Okay, confused no more. There we go. Ah, how the turntables! Let's see you fight through this one, Zubat! Yeah, you didn't. Good, that's what I like to see. Now we can start using Tackle! Ah! Look at that damage! Be afraid, Zubat! Oh, Leech Life, I, I guess you'll get some of that back, won't you? Unfortunate. But you are still confused. I missed Ladybug. This is just not your fight. Maybe I shouldn't have taken you out of my party. You're uh, you're out of practice. Okay, we're we're getting close. Oh, is this it? Is this it? Ooh! 
out of there! Perfect! And that is why confusion is sometimes okay. Uh, but I will not force you to sit through that again. I think these ladybug fights are akin to some kind of torture, so... Yeah, y you don't need to worry about that. You did... Well, you didn't do good, but you did okay, Ladybug. Spiro, let's... Let's see what you can do. You do know Swift. This should do some major damage to Zubat. Oh, that did some major damage to Zubat. Whereas Leech Life will do nothing. Okay, we can peck through the last of this HP. Alright, not bad, not bad. Oh, just too strong! Yes, I am far too str- What? Cyndaquil evolves at level 14? Okay, I mean, I'm happy. Cyndaquil, uh, congratulations, you have evolved into a Quillava. So when Pokémon reach a high enough level, certain Pokémon, they will evolve. The other Pokémon evolve in other ways. Some of them are weird, some of them actually make sense. Uh, some Pokémon don't evolve. Uh, let, let's check on these poor Slowpokes, though. It's a Slowpoke with its tail cut off. Huh? It has mail. Read it? Well, reading other people's mail is a felony, but I think I can get away with it this time. Uh, I read the mail. Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. Oh, no, that's terrible! Why? Oh, this poor Slowpoke. It's a Slowpoke with its tail cut off, yeah. This one doesn't have mail. I, I mean, at least they're alive, right? They make noises. So, uh... Let let's take a look at Quilava. Because, uh, it should have gotten a massive boost in a lot of its stats. Oh, uh, okay, well... Massive is a strong word, but it did get a boost in its stats nonetheless. Okay, I genuinely didn't know that Quilava evolved. I thought it was level 16 that Cyndaquil evolved. Well, what a, uh, what a happy little coincidence here. Uh, Fanpy, why don't we put you up front? Uh, because I think I know what this guy has, and I think it's nothing good. Uh, what do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Well, I don't expect any mercy, Rocket Grunt. However, I should say the same to you. Yeah, you have a coughing, and uh, I think it's a big one. Ooh, it's a level 14 coughing. Okay. Well, I do have Mud Slap, which is super effective. So, uh... Yeah, a little while ago, I spoke about how in remakes of older Pokémon games, sometimes balance kinda goes out the window, at least to the intended balance. Now, this is one of those cases. Because in future Pokémon games, coughing has an ability called Levitate, which makes ground-type moves uh, completely useless against it, instead of being super effective like they're supposed to be. So, in, uh, you know, like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, you couldn't do this, could ya? Like, it's built into the game. You're supposed to be able to do this, but not in those ones. Of course, it's still possible. It's not like you can't beat this thing. But one of the tools at your disposal, or that you're supposed to have at your disposal, uh, you no longer have, which is a bit of a shame. It, you know, it does throw things off a little bit. Again, it's not impossible, it's just... Not the same, Rocket Grunt. Can you believe that? Uh, you did okay today, uh, but wait till next time. Yeah, you'll get me next time. I'm sure you will. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago. Uh, but we continued our activities underground. Now, you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Oh, what a bunch of mischief makers! Uh, hey, Kurt. Well, way to go, Chris! Team Rocket has taken off. I believe you mean to say they've blasted off again? Haha! <laughs> oh, my back's better too. Oh, let's get out of here. 
Oh, and, uh, and here we are. Out of there. Oh, hi, Chris. Uh, you handled yourself like a real hero at the well. I like your style. I would be honored to make balls for a trainer like you. Uh, this is all I have now, but take it. And I received a lure ball. Okay, okay. Put the lure ball in the ball pocket. I make balls from apricorns. Ah, uh, there we go. Collect them from trees and bring them to me. I'll make balls out of them. And I have an apricorn, actually. Oh, fine, I'll turn it into a ball. Which apricorn should I use? The only one I have, a white apricorn. Ooh, but it looks like I can give you more than one. That is useful to know, if I had them. Uh, it'll take a day to make you a ball. Come back for it later. So, yes, like he said, he takes apricorns and turns them into pokeballs, which, uh, I actually, uh, I think, at least in gold and silver, maybe crystal as well, uh, they don't actually work all the time as intended. I, I think they're a little bit, uh, not right. Uh, but hey, you know what, it's still a cool thing. Uh, do you say something new? I get to help Grandpa now. We'll make good balls for you, so please wait. All right, and how's our poor Slowpoke doing? Yawn? Well, I guess it's doing okay. Maybe their tails grow back. Maybe they're like salamanders. Uh, am I healed? Oh, I am! Wow! How fortunate. Oh, and look at that. Like everyone was saying, there are indeed supposed to be Slowpokes all over the place. Well, there you go. And... I think I have time to tackle this, Jim. What do you have to say? Yo, Challenger! Uh, Bugsy's young, but his knowledge of bug Pokémon is for real. It's gonna be tough without my advice. Well, then you'd better tell it to me. Let's see, bug Pokémon don't like fire. Flying-type moves are super effective, too. Thanks for, uh, for explaining type advantages to me. So... Yeah, I, I could probably just burn through this entire gym with Quilava. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's get Spiro up there, too. Spiro can use a bit of training. Uh, this is May. You want to see the leader? We come first. Indeed you do. You're right at the door. So this is a new type of trainer. Twins, Amy and May. Uh, in future games, they always challenge you to double battles, but uh, I guess those don't exist yet, so... Uh, they just always have two semi-related Pokémon, I think. I think that's their gimmick. Uh, Peck, though, that... Oh, almost Spearow. Super Sonic. Ooh, we are familiar with this strategy, aren't we? Uh, well, whatever. I guess we can we can take out this Ladybug anyway. Ooh, or maybe not. Oh dear. Actually, this Ladybug has so little health. I think we can fight it with a Ladybug of our own. Don't you agree? Get him, Ladybug. And you're gonna use Tackle, yeah, that'll, that'll do a bit, a critical hit. Really, you just had to do that. Get out of here. And yeah, 57 experience each. Hmm, maybe it's not worth it to be, uh, to be doing that. Spinarak, though. Okay. We can send our Spearow back out and take on this Spinarak. Uh, Spinarak is less defensive than Ladybus, so this might just get the KO in one hit. Yes, it did. Marvelous. Get some experience. You're almost level 13. You're getting there. Oh, double goodness. Yep, indeed. And, uh, and who might you be? Bug Pokemon are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. Okay. Okay. I mean, there are some pretty tough bug Pokemon. I kinda doubt you have any, but uh, we'll see, Bug Catcher Al. Uh, what do you got? You got a Caterpie. Yeah, this is, uh, maybe not my idea of tough. Level 12, though, this is a big Caterpie. Once again, maybe I'm not super prepared for this gym. 
Uh, the levels are definitely catching up to me. But I guess that's what happens when I'm simultaneously trying to raise practically an entire team. Uh, level 13. Nice. Nice. Oh, we're trying to learn Fury Attack. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I can forget an attack. Um, I mean, it's not like I use... Growl. I think Leer lowers defense. I might get more use out of that. Potentially. <laughs> oh, Weedle. Okay. Nah, well, stick with Spiro. What the hey. Uh, Fury Attack. Here's an attack that hits multiple times, two to five times. Mm, but I think Swift is... well, Swift is definitely more consistent. Fury Attack technically might be stronger, possibly, if it hits enough times. Oh, but uh, it, it doesn't matter when Peck is so good. I have defeated Bugcatcher Al. You proved how tough you are! Oh. Do you say anything else? They're so cool, uh, but most girls don't like bug Pokemon. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, me neither. Bug Pokemon are sweet. Uh, any more trainers up here? Oh, yep! Right there, you were waiting. You saved all the Slowpoke? Phew, you are mighty. But my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough, too. Your grown-up Pokemon, you say? What are they? What does that even mean? You have one Pokemon, okay. It is a... it's a... it's a Paris. That's not even a fully evolved Pokemon. What about it has grown up? And it still only took one hit! Ooh, right, Paris is like Grass Bug. That was four times effective. Uh, it's... it's another interesting Pokemon. It gets a cool... Sleep attack that always hits. Rawr! Yeah, that's what they all say. And, uh... I don't know, should I... Should I switch to Quilava? Give Spiro a bit of a break? Maybe Quilava could even hit level 15. Let's see what you got. Bug Pokemon evolve young. So they get stronger that much faster. Yeah, see, like I was saying, that that's what makes, uh... A number of them, anyway. Pretty good in the early game. Unfortunately, their stats uh, do fall off later. They're good at level 10, uh, maybe not so much at level 50. Uh, yeah, Ember. Th this is a level 7 Weedle, so I don't anticipate it putting up too much of a fight. Yeah, there we go. I also don't anticipate that I'll grow up a level. Ooh, you have a Beedrill! See, that's a grown-up Pokémon. That is the final evolution of Weedle. Uh, and Beedrill actually gets some decent attacks. It's one of the few bug types that actually learns bug-type attacks. Ooh, you lived. And you have Fury Attack. Yeah, this, uh, critical hit, of course. Uh, but this'll not do that much damage. Thank goodness it only hit twice. It could have hit five times and done much more. 400 experience! Well, uh, you are making me eat my words. There's level 14. Uh, 15 even. Uh, that's what I meant to say. Ignore that. And, of course, we have Kakuna, the middle evolution of the Weedle family which will probably burn just as easily. Yeah, there we go. I'm surprised Ember did so little to Beedrill. Beedrill's not really that defensive. Just evolving isn't enough. Yes, you are correct. And that, of course, leaves us with only the gym leader. Uh, but I am going to do the cheap thing and heal myself first, so I will be right back. Okay, I have healed my Pokémon. I have given berries to the relevant ones for this fight. It is time to challenge another gym! I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokémon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokémon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Okay. 
Now, if I recall correctly, Bugsy is actually kind of tough. Uh, Leader Bugsy, yeah, here you go. You have a Metapod out first. Uh, the middle evolution of the Caterpie family, and at level 14... Okay, Spiro, you got your work cut out for you, but I believe in you because uh, all Metapod can normally do is harden, I guess. That's interesting. So, if you catch a Metapod in the wild, it only knows harden, but if you evolve it, it knows other attacks. I guess Bugsy legitimately evolved his Pokémon. Good to know. 200 experience, though. We are flying through these levels. Who's your other Pokémon? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Bugsy sent out Scyther. Scyther is one of the big bug Pokémon. There's a few of them. They are very powerful, as I'm sure you can imagine just looking at it. Yeah, Scyther is scary. Fury Cutter. Luckily, this is Gen 2, and the only attack that it knows that's actually a bug-type attack is Fury Cutter, which is not that strong, uh, at least at first. It gets stronger the more you use it. Now, remember when I said that sometimes balance gets thrown out the window? Uh, I said it just this episode, if you are paying attention. In... In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I'm pretty sure this Scyther has an actual bug type attack. Um, U turn, which also happens to be a very powerful bug type attack. It is terrifying. Uh, yeah, Spiro might not have survived that many hits of it, even if it was not effective. Luckily, this isn't Heart Gold, so, uh, my little Spiro can. Probably do just fine, and that's level 15! Flying through these levels, no pun intended. Pun intended a little bit. But with that big scary Scyther out of the way, I think we're probably in the clear. Uh, oh, that's some damage. And you are just using Harden. Okay, you know what? You know what? We are going to... Should I? Should I? Yes. Yes, I will. Okay, Kakuna. It doesn't matter how much you use Harden. My attacks do barely anything anyway. But confusion. Confusion is the silent killer. You're already faster than I am. You don't need to use that. Okay. Here we go. Can you do it, Ladyba? Even if you have to use all 35 of your tackles, I believe in you! I believe! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, confused no more! Poison sting! Ugh! Poisoned! Emergency! Emergency! It's okay, we got there. <laughs> oh, Ladyba. Who else but Ladyba? Didn't even grow up a level. Uh, but we did defeat Bugsy. Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokémon! My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. And I got 1,600... Okay, kroner for winning. Sent some to Mom. And yes, I also got the Hive Badge. And do I know the benefits of the Hive Badge? Well, I'm sure you'll tell me. If you have it, Pokémon up to level 30 will obey you, even if traded. That's not what you said. A Pokémon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Uh, here, I also want you to have this. And I got TM49. Uh, Chris put the TM in the TM pocket. TM49 contains Fury Cutter. If you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. The longer your battle goes, the better it gets. Isn't that great? I discovered it. I'm sure you did. So, uh... Do I... do I... do I... No, whatever. We'll, we'll just run to the Pokémon Center. So yeah, Fury Cutter as a TM is kind of cool because you can use it to teach a bug-type attack to your bugs. Most of them don't get bug-type attacks. 
but it's still not a great bug-type attack. Especially when so many of them get stuff like Slash that just does big damage. Oh well, it is what it is. My Pokémon are fully healed, we hope to see you again. And I think that will bring us to the end of this episode. So I do hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. And I hope that you'll join me again next time for the next exciting episode of this. Till then, ta-ta!